City. Welcome back. Let's uh, invite the management of Kaplan Point on the show now. Vivek Parthiban, the COO of the company, is now with us on the show. Thank you very much, sir, for joining in. So now in the first half of the year, you've clocked in close to about 70%, sorry, 17% top-line growth. You're saying that Latin America continues to drive robust top-line and bottom-line growth. So can you give us the outlook for the second half of the year and break it up in terms of Latin America and U.S.? Thank you. So, yeah, Latin America continues to drive uh, maximum growth for us right now, but uh, U.S. is fast catching up as well. Of course, uh, albeit on a small base, we are still looking at very decent growth in the U.S., but at this point, the breakup is at about 80-82% from uh, Latin America and the other 18% from uh, the U.S. We've been very consistent over the last uh, few years, few quarters, etc. I think uh, that also goes to show that the business model that we have, uh, where we cater to the bottom of the pyramid, continues to work well for us, which is what we are going to be trying to replicate in the U.S. as well. Vivek, what my colleague meant to ask is, what are the growth rates that you're looking at so in FY25? You, will you be able to do this 18% mark or better than that uh, for the entire year? And how would growth be from the Latin American geography and the US geography separately? Yeah, so typically uh, H2 is, uh, is equal or better than uh, H1 for us uh, historically. And uh, what I mentioned with regards to consistency is the fact that almost 80, 80 uh, plus percent of our business is targeted towards the private market. So basically we have a fair amount of uh, repeatability, fair amount of consistency with our business. There is no hit or miss kind of uh, events that happens for us, you know. So you can expect similar kind of growth for us for H2 as well. Okay. Uh, your oncology business, which commenced exports, is clocked in a 12 crore revenue in the first half of the year. For the second half of the year, what is the run rate? Uh, and you're saying it will be profitable in the first full year of operations. So that will be in FI25, what could be the profits we should expect from the oncology business? Yeah, so oncology business typically is low volume, high uh, margins. Uh, we don't want to get into specific numbers, but uh, we are very confident of repeating what we've done in the first half, in the second half also. At which level I think uh, we will turn profitable on this. Uh, this is, I would say, a bit of a rarity because typically any new capex takes about three, four years for, especially when you're looking at pharmaceuticals and finished dosages, etc. So this is uh, pertinent because uh, we've been able to do some groundwork on oncology products in our existing existing markets by way of outsourcing over the last few years, which we've been able to take in house right now. This has gone some way into making uh, this unit turn profitable within the first full year of operations itself. Okay, so once it does scale up, Vivek, uh, what kind of uh, revenue number are you targeting? And since it's oncology, it'll be high margin business, right? So how would it contribute to your margins going forward? Yeah, I think uh, at a company level, we are uh, either, you know, better than benchmarks. If you look at companies our size, our EBITDA is close to 35, 36%. Um, the oncology business will go in some way to uh, augment this, uh, but at any level, I don't see us reducing this either on an entity level or on uh, uh, or on a consolidated level. So I would say the oncology business will be value accretive for sure from here. Okay, you've also tied up with uh, partners in China for entry into biologics and biosimilars for emerging markets initially, with specific focus on insulin analogs and biosimilars. Can you tell us what this means uh, for the company uh, in terms of financials or, you know, the strategy? Yeah, uh, we've always looked at how do we evolve ourselves uh, to the next trajectory of growth? How do we evolve ourselves to what the market trends are? And biologics and biosimilars are something that uh, everybody, uh, you know, needs to get into over the next five, ten years. Obviously, it requires quite deep pockets. So we need to segment it out uh, as to how it will work for Kaplan. So what we are looking at in the initial stages is to focus a little bit more on the uh, the drug substance uh, uh, to be outsourced from China and Taiwan, etc., and then for the drug products to be manufactured in-house. Uh, the drug product is very similar to the liquid injectables that we do for the U.S., so there's not too much by way of differentiation that we have there. So we think we can uh, continue to be as uh, as satellite as possible when we get into biologics, at least in the initial periods, before we start putting in infrastructure on our own once the business starts to scale. You know, so it's early days right now. I think in the next uh, three to four years, this will start to occupy a bigger share of our pie. 
So you've already, you said you need deep pockets, right, to get into this uh, business completely. So when you say three to four years down the line, what kind of capex would you require here? Uh, you know, you must be planning for that already. And you had spoken of a capex plan of around 600 to 650 crore rupees when we spoke to you in quarter one. Um, how much have you spent in quarter two? What is the outlook for the remainder of the year? Yeah, so over this year and next year, I think we would uh, at a maximum spend around 300 crores more on uh, capex to complete all our existing projects. Now, uh, we live within our means, right? We don't have any uh, debt on our books. All of the capex that we spend on is all funded internally. And due to our, the robustness in our Latin American uh, business, we are able to put away around 270 to 300 crore per year in surplus, right? So um, even if it takes uh, for our buy similar projects and stuff later on, even, even if it takes extra amount of capex to be done, we will do this internally. We don't have a specific number on where uh, that needs to be right now, but we will uh, we will get there. We will get there and uh, uh, we are evolving as well as a company. We will also try and understand what our sweet spot is when it comes to biologics. So like I said, early days at this point, and uh, we will keep you informed as and when there are developments here. Vivek, thank you very much uh, for uh, joining in. That's the word coming in from Kaplan Point in the last three months. The stock has gained close to about uh, 30 odd percent. By the way, IT is.